us to show how I handle map pins and uh, map keys uh, in my games. I use a couple of scripts. I use Reporter and I use Supernotes, uh, both of which I wrote and maintain. They're available in one click. Recorder pulls the page to see what tokens are on it and can return reports uh, on those tokens uh, based on certain criteria, uh, what they represent, their name, uh, can return any kind of information from them. Um, and then I use Supernotes, which uh, is a specialized uh, tool for re reporting certain specific types of information uh, from the tokens or the associated characters um, in uh, a, a more uh, directed format. I'll, I'll demonstrate. Uh, so first of all, let me call up my report macro. This has uh, links to all sorts of ways that I can uh, use Reporter and Supernotes. And we are going to use the map keys report. I'll click on that. Let's go ahead and clear that. And what that is going to do is that is going to read all of these little map uh, pins or uh, map keys that I have placed on the GM layer. Let's go ahead and change that GM layer uh, change to the GM layer and you can see that for instance all of these uh, are tokens that represent the singular character map key they are all on the GM layer and that's what reporter uses to find them and build the list they have to be tokens that represent map key and they have to be on the GM layer uh, I have the name here they all represent map key and then I have the GM notes and these are all taken from the Goblinoid War Camp um, from Volo's Guide to Monsters and all of the text is taken from the handout that comes with it. I've just split it up into all of these tokens. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go back to the GM layer or rather the Objects and Tokens layer and let's say I want to know where the command center is. I can simply click and it will ping pull me uh, to that map key. If I click on the uh, name, it will ping pull me and ping pull all the players. If I just click on a the icon uh, for it, it just ping pulls the GM. So I can secretly say, well, where is that thing? It'll ping pull me to it. Okay, let me read up on it. I want to read up on it. I want to find information. Every entry has a token notes button. I can click there and it will display the token notes for that particular map key. Hobgoblin barracks are over here. What's in the Hobgoblin barracks? There's a list of what's in the Hobgoblin barracks. Everything on here I can send to players in chat or I can make a handout. I'll demonstrate that on the other map. It makes a little more sense there since this is all pretty much proprietary GM information. So that's map keys. Uh, let me demonstrate how I use map pins. I'm going to go to my city map. This is my city of High Harbor, and I'm going to open the report that goes with that. And this report actually, or report and super notes combination, um, is a little more detailed in that it allows me to conduct searches uh, on the report. So, for instance, I can click search. Uh, what kind of location do I want? I want a list of all of the entertainment. Um, items in uh, let's say grand markets submit and there's a list of the map pins that indicate entertainment areas in the grand markets area actually I can just click there the grand markets uh, area of the city uh, where's the grand arena I can click there it will take me it'll ping pull to the grand arena I can click the token notes and it will call up the information that I have placed in the token notes um, along with an illustration. Let me give you an example here. Let me uh, open that up. Oops, I don't want to open the character. I want to open the token. Uh, you can see that the everything on this map is linked to a singular character called Sight. Uh, it has the name and then the GM notes and in this case I have included in most of these uh, an illustration that I host on Imager uh, that is written up in markdown format so I don't have to worry about maintaining and finding specific images in my uh, user library. I'll go ahead and cancel that. 
uh, let's do another search. Let's find all of the uh, taverns, all the places you can find a drink in the whole city. We're not, we're not going to do it by borough. We're going to choose the whole city. And then there is a list of all of the establishments where you can get a beer or a glass of wine. Uh, let's go ahead and let's click on, say, Sirens. Where is Sirens? Sirens is right there. Where's the Broken Moon Tavern? There's the Broken Moon Tavern. I want to find information out about the Broken Moon Tavern. I click on the token notes. It shows me an illustration. It gives me some NPCs. It gives me a bit of a write-up. Um, some of these are formatted a little bit better depending on the width of the, uh, the handout. And then it all, in this case, it also gives me some GM notes. So these will only appear to the GM. So if I send to players in chat, it will send the top information to the players so that they can see. I can quickly say, okay, you're going to the Broken Moon Tavern. Here's the public information. I have some private information about the NPCs and a, and a price list. Uh, and if I want the players to have long-term access information to that, I can click Make Handout. Super Notes has created a handout named Broken Moon. Click here to open. I click that, and then I can share this with the players. And again, it transferred the GM notes. So even though this part is shared with the players, I, as a GM opening that, can see that particular information, and that is persistent. So those are a couple of things I use Super Notes and uh, Reporter for. Uh, I have an awful lot of other things I use it for. I use it to track NPCs. I have one that can call up whoever is on the turn tracker and give a list of them along with a readout of their current uh, hit points uh, and statuses uh, and a list of all of the token actions that they can uh, perform that are clickable. But somebody had uh, asked for some map pin information and I thought I'd put this together as a quick demo.